Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. Not sure what's in here, but it was likely uh, something that was sent by a viewer uh, in response to my request for new knives uh, for review in my community tab. So thank you very much, Tyler, for sent sending something in. And thanks to my generous patrons for supporting me right now. If you're enjoying the daily knife content on this channel and you'd like to support me, there is, of course, a link for my Patreon right down in the description. And please follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right, let's go ahead and get this open here. All righty. What do we have? We've got some packing material and we have a pouch. Okay. And let's... American Blade Works. Okay, let's turn the exposure up just a little bit so everybody can see. And... Ooh. Oh, boy. What do we have here? Ooh. Beautiful. Okay, so this is something that I'm not familiar with at all. And I likely... So this wasn't something that I requested personally on my list, but I'm remembering now, I think maybe seeing a picture and saying, yeah, I should check that out. I, I try to expand. You guys know I do a lot of the same brands. You see a lot of Spyderco Benchmade ZT, Wii knives, Civivi knives. You see Hinderer knives, right? You see all the ultra popular stuff, like the names that everybody knows, but it's important that I branch out and experience some other things. So really happy that... Uh, Somebody gave me an opportunity to do that. Let's let's look here and see what we've got. So we've got multi-layer. Is it G10 or micarta? Should we turn the exposure up just a little bit more? G10 or micarta. And then I'm going to guess titanium and a titanium backspacer. S35VN. Wonderful flipping action. Love the blade profile. Very nearly a fully flat ground blade. You can see there's a flat right at the top there. Nice and thin behind the edge. Beautiful. Very simple. Uh, design all the way around very simple lines very simple ergonomics, but I like that is this, a, is this a little choke up point right here? Yeah, it is you can actually choke up right there behind it. This is cool Captive pivot American blade works. All right. Well the name of this will be listed of course in the title and if it's not, it'll be listed in the description. But for anybody who's familiar with my channel, you know that this is the first time that I've experienced the knife. So this is not a review. It's just me picking it up, holding it, trying to gain some initial first impressions, right? And then the review, the full comprehensive review, will come a few weeks down the road. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've never... I, th I feel like I've heard of American Blade Works before, but I've just never s experienced this model, or actually any models, truthfully. I do like the, uh, it's one of those models where the, um, the popsicle stick clip works because the, the overall profile is also very simple. I, sometimes I complain about clips like that because the, the design is very wild and, you know, in your face and then you flip it over and it's just got this clip that's just not doing anything, you know. But this clip actually looks good with the rest of the knife. In fact, I think the whole color aesthetic and profile work really well. Listen to me throwing around words that are non-distinct. Just about cut myself there. Thank goodness for the, <laughs> my, most of the, my left thumb is just dead skin. So it really have to, <laughs> it really have to dig in there. But, um, but, uh, yeah, I'm throwing around a bunch of non-distinct words, uh, to mask the fact that I just don't have a lot of information <laughs> about the knife, but I do like the flipping action. The flipping action's great. Is it running on, uh, I feel like those are bearings. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's smooth. It's not going to be, this isn't one that's going to be fall shut. It's not a lot of weight mass in the blade, but it doesn't take much to get it in there. It's just a little bit of encouragement. I wonder if the liner, I think that, boy, yeah, I feel like that's a steel liner lock. There is a uh, countersunk steel liner on this side. Can we see in there? Yeah. So it does have steel liners that are countersunk inside. Boy, I really do like the profile. I'm going to guess this is probably about seven and three quarters to eight inches overall. We're just going to, let's measure it real quick, just so everybody gets an idea. Right in between, about 7.8 inches overall. Doesn't feel ultra heavy. Honestly, it feels pretty good. More information to come when I actually review the knife, but this is interesting. Thank you very much, Taylor. Tyler, I'm sorry. Did I say Taylor at the beginning? Tyler. 
Tyler. Thank you very much, Tyler, for sending this in. Really interesting. Um, I will give the rest of my thoughts when I do the review. Guys, if I can link this knife down below, I will, by the way. Uh, if you guys want to check this out, I'll, I'll put a link down in the description. But I don't know. I don't know if they carry these at the retailers that I'm, that I'm uh, working with. Uh, but uh, anyways, that's going to be pretty much it. Oh, I threw my Instagram. Thing. There it is. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do not like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.